Hide some front of the math. Easy solution. Trying to discuss uh, some more linear approximation, and now look at an example on square roots and approximating them. Uh, basically, in my earlier video I went over introduction to this, and you can see that in the video link below. But I'm just going to quickly recap on this. If you have, let's say, a function like this f of x function over here, and you want to approximate it near at a value, let's say x equals a, so all you need to do is basically find, just draw a tangent line, find that derivative or the slope at this point, and then you could approximate uh, basically by lean, linearizing this function near a. So we could basically approximate this f of x using this l of x function near here. And l of x, it basically it's, it's near f of x, and it, it's approximately f of x near a, so that's the whole idea. And then you can get the equation, just an equation of a line here, f of x is approximately equal to f of a, that's this value here, plus the derivative of uh, f of a at basically of f of a at times it by x minus a right here. So basically, this is rise over run times it by the run, and you'll get uh, how much how much rise it is. And then this is basically near a. So to uh, illustrate this, I'll go over this example. And basically, the example I'm going to go over here is basically it says find the linearization of the function shown below at a equals one. That's this one here. F of x equals square root x plus three, and use it to approximate these numbers 3.98 and 4.05 and also answer this question are these approximations overestimates or underestimates so first let's get back to this one here the reason we have that a equals one for this because well we know what that is because when we plug in uh, f of x if, if x equals to basically one right here so we know that f of one is equal to square root one plus three and this is equals to square root of four yeah, and we know that the square root of 4 is just 2 right here. So we can use this value to approximate close to it, like these numbers over here. So if we use this equation, this equation of a line. But first of all, actually, let's just graph this first. Yes, yeah, so if we were to graph it, uh, the, the function, we know that if we look back up here, uh, square root x plus 3, we can't have a square root of less than 0. So basically, the farthest we can go is negative 3, we'll get 0. So at x equals to basically negative three, we're gonna have it something like this, and it's gonna look something like, like this. So the square root function will look like. Yeah, so it curves out like that, and we know that at let's say x equals to one right here, uh, as, and this is also our a value right here. We get uh, this value two. So this is f of a. This is equal to two. So we have something like this here, and now to get the linearization, we just draw a line across this. Yeah, so here I'll draw this line, something it will look something like this once we get the derivative on it. So this is basically the idea. So near here, we could approximate it by writing, so this, if this is our f of x, this would be our linearization, l of x, and basically uh, this would equal to, well, f of x is approximately equal to l of x, uh, this is, we're talking about near A again, and we're only dealing with this area here. Yeah, so continue over here. So this one will going to be rated at F of A plus now F derivative of A times by X minus A right here. So we know that uh, F of 1, that is basically uh, equals to 2. A is, a is uh, equal to 1, we know that. So, and we also know the derivative, we can find it easily by f taking derivatives. So we know f of x is equal to square root x plus 4. Uh, we could also write this, I mean x plus 3, not x plus 4. And we could also write this as x plus 3 to the power of 1 over 2, just so we could apply the power rule. So when we take the derivative of f prime of x equals 2, bring this 1 over 2 down, 1 over 2, and then x plus 3, power of negative 1 over 2, so you subtract 1. You see proof of this in the video link below on the power rule for derivatives. And now basically, uh, this is the same thing as writing 1 over 2 square root x plus 3. Just put it at the bottom here. So we have this one here. Now we have to find derivative at a or at a equals 1. So we go f prime of 1 is equal to, just plug that in, 1 over 2, 1 plus 3. So now this will be just 1 over 2 times 2 it equals to 1 over 4. So we can just plug that in here. So we're going to get 1 over 4 times by x minus a. And we could also, I'll just write this out to simplify it. Actually, we know this uh, a right here is 1. Let's put this back in. Yeah, so then we could just write it over here. 
and we're going to have f of x is uh, basically approximately equal to 2 plus 1 over 4 times this by, it's basically times it by, um, by uh, x right here, then minus 1. So we're going to have x minus, now this is going to be 1 over 4. And we can simplify this further by timesing this 2 and this uh, 1 over 4 for a common denominator. In this case, 4 divided by 4 times it by 4. So this would be basically 8 over 4. And then subtract the 1 over 4, we're going to get f of x uh, here is approximately equal to 7 over 4 plus x over 4. And this is our linearization. This is again near basically x is uh, approximately equal to 1 here, so near near a, so near this po point over here. So now we could use it to approximate basically point, to, I mean 3.98. So to get 3.98, well this is basically equal to 0 0.098 uh, plus 3 right here. So this is our x value here. So this is, yeah, so this is our x value here. We'll call it x1 equals to 0.98. So we can just plug that in over here. So we'll have f of x, I mean f of 0.98, not f of x, uh, equals 2 now, 7 over 4 plus 0.98 divided by 4 right here. So now we can plug this into the calculator. And you might ask, if why, are we, why are we bothering finding the approximation if we're going to put this in a calculator? Well, in the calculator, it has its own approximation. So this is just getting an idea of, of linear approximations because when you deal with complex programs, they all do some sort of approximation for really complex functions. And then if you plug it into the calculator, you're going to get around 1.995 right here. So we'll get something like this. And then now if we look at, let's circle this over here. Yeah, and now if we want to look at uh, this approximation of 4.05 right here, this one again, this is the same thing as writing 0.05. I mean 1.05 plus 3, so our new x is going to be this one here, I'll call it x2 equals to 1.05. And again we plug that in, f of 1.05 is about equal to, yeah this would be approximately equal to 7 over 4 plus 1.05 over 4. And once again if you plug uh, this into the calculator you're going to get uh, basically approximately equal to 2.005. I mean, I mean 2.0125. I got it mixed up. So you get something like this over here. Yeah. Now, if you were to graph this out using Google Graph and calculators, you can see this is the L of x, the red line, and then this is the square root x plus three at one. As you can see, it pretty much coincides with this. So approximation is actually really good near it. So at near this area is is really good. And also, uh, you can tell that since this is a tangent line, it's above it. So this is going to be an overestimate right here. So over, yeah, overestimate uh, of this. Both of them are overestimates of the actual value, but it's going to be really close to it, anyways. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learn from this, uh, you can download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.